For the last three years, I have served as troop leader of the Pawnee Gamers. This is our handbook. I wrote the whole thing myself. I'm making this video for those of us who will never be professional gamers. This video is for those of us who don't have the prodigious talent of Shroud or It's Timmy. For those of us that don't benefit from the savant-like powers of people like Tens. We may not have the mechanical ability or the time to obtain the prowess of these godlike gamers, but what we do have is the ability to analyze and deduce the strategies and tactics these players use and employ them to our own benefit. Here's how to be an above average gamer. By far the easiest and most helpful tactic I employ when learning a new game is watching the pros. It's the simplest concept that if you want to be good, do what the good players do. But it's surprising how many people don't do this. When you watch people who are so good at a game they literally get paid to play it against other people who are super good, you're bound to pick up some cues. Even if you don't get specifics, you can at least pick up the essence of how it looks to be good at a specific game. But above that, what guns are they using? What peaks or corners are they holding? Where is their reticle? What routes do they take or avoid? What loadout and attachments do they have? How do they communicate with their team? The list is endless. The amount of info you can pick up just from observing is priceless. The amount of time you'll save by avoiding noob mistakes and bad loadout choices will make your learning process that much easier. Now in an almost contradictory second note, don't compare yourself to the pros. I know I just told you to watch what the pros do and emulate them, but it's dangerous to think that you should perform like them just because you know what to do. Remember, they play 8 hours a day minimum. They probably have thousands of more hours playtime than you. They may also have insane natural talent that we just don't have. So yes, emulate the pro's strategy and use their tactics in your own gameplay, but don't be too upset if you miss the shot or don't hit the flick. We aren't trying to replicate their talent, we're trying to replicate their mental game. As much as it's good to copy the pro way of playing, you still have to find what works for you. Okay, now for the hard stuff. Number three, take responsibility. This is probably the most difficult and yet most important ingredient in the recipe for success. Not just in gaming, but in everything in your life. The only one who can improve or degrade your performance is you. The only one who can put in the work and get better is you. If you don't own your quest for competence, you will never get good, because you'll always be blaming the game, RNG, or cheaters, or your opponent for your failure. Yes, you will encounter situations of genuinely horrible luck or truly unfair circumstances where there was absolutely nothing you could do from the time you spawned in to the time the game ended. But if we really get honest with ourselves, how often does that actually happen? The answer is it's extremely rare. Things like, what, there's no way I should have died there, or how is he not dead, this game is trash, are often said by those who suck at video games, and very rarely by those who are good. Because good players understand that there's almost always something you can do to play a situation better or to prepare sufficiently and prevent an undesired outcome. If you say, that's not fair, the game screwed me over, that is what you will believe and instead of thinking of ways to improve, you will forever think that you are perfect and somehow it's everything else that is out to get you. The reality is that while we're sometimes victims of bad game design and unfair circumstances, 99% of the time we just played it badly. The truth is that if you really wanted to, you could analyze what happened in a given situation and come up with a way it could have gone better and decide to play it properly the next time. Get rid of the ego and start getting a little bit better every day. Number four, set realistic goals. Be honest with yourself about what you want. Often we set out on a journey and we really don't ask ourselves what an acceptable end to that journey would look like. At what point will you feel like you succeeded? On one hand, part of becoming great at something is knowing that there will always be a next level. Someone will always be better than you and you may always feel the need to reach that next step on the ladder. But that doesn't happen all at once. If you start playing COD and think, all right, time to be like Scump, you're gonna set yourself up for disappointments. It's fine to never be content with your skills. That's a hallmark of all great players, but it takes time. Let's take Apex for example. This will apply to any game with a ranked mode. You start out in Rookie or Bronze, your goal could be to hit Silver within the split. You've given yourself a set status and amount of time. Not only does it serve as a motivation, but also gives you that sense of accomplishment when the goal is met. Notice I didn't set the goal to go from Bronze to Masters. Take it one step at a time, and if you meet the goal early, great. Set the next one, and so on. Okay, one more piece of advice. Play with people who are better than you. 
If at all possible, try to find a squad comprised of gamers with more skill and experience than you have. I'm not saying find some pros to play with, not only will that be impossible, but they won't want to play with a noob. Just find some people who are a little bit better. If you outgrow them, find more people who are better than your new skill level. You can still play with your old group, but the value of higher skilled teammates is priceless. Not only will they give you good tips and teach you how to play effectively, the competition of peers is highly underrated. The effort you will exert mentally just in trying to keep up with them and match their scores will propel you farther skill-wise than just working on it on your own. Iron sharpens iron, people. There's a lot more that goes into being a competent gamer, but this is a fantastic place to start. If you implement these strategies into your gameplay, you will get better, no question about it. But above all, never give up, keep at it, and remember to have fun. Alright, that's all I have for you today. Let me know what you think makes a good gamer down in the comments. Maybe I'll add your suggestions to a part 2 of this series. Join the Discord to be a part of our community of gamers, and I will see you later. Eliminate the enemy. Come on, they're fire. Come to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Push him, push him.